Maybe you're still in college. Maybe you're about to graduate. The other day, I got an email actually from a fan asking me, Dan, you know, I'm about to graduate. What should I do after college? That's what inspired me to make this particular video. You see, Confucius said, at 15, I set my heart upon learning. At 30, I know where I stood. At 40, I have no doubt. And at 50, I know my life's purpose. So you might think you're supposed to have your career path, your whole life figure out the minute you graduate from college. That is simply not the case. You are still young. What I'd like to share with you is what I've learned when I was a little bit younger. Now, I never graduated from university. I dropped out of college and went into entrepreneurship, went into business. I didn't have a degree, but I never stopped learning. I think one of the biggest misconceptions college graduates have is they think the minute they graduate, their learning stops. That is simply not the case. Formal education gets you a job. Self-education gets you success. It's what you learn after college that counts. Now we're talking about real world experience, not just that piece of paper. So does that mean that by the time you graduate, you don't read another book? No, your learning is just getting started. Whatever you've learned in college, that's just your foundation. There's some, some basic fundamental knowledge of how things work. And some of that information is outdated anyway. By the time you're going into the real world, you're going into the job world, guess what? You're learning a whole new set of skills. So whatever you know in the past actually doesn't count so much. What is very critical is developing the ability to learn, to read more, to absorb more information. So don't think by the time you're done, you're not done. That's your starting point. That's where now you're gonna read those books. Now you're gonna take those courses. Now you're gonna get some on the job skill sets. Another thing I wanna share with you is be humble. Knowing you don't know shit. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I know what that was like. In my early 20s, I thought I was the hot shit. I thought I was smart. Don't tell me what to do. I look at other people. I could outwork them. I could outthink them. No, no, no. And now looking back in my early 20s, it is laughable. I didn't know shit compared to what I know today, right? And I still look at what I do and what I know. I still don't know that much. The more you know, the more you know that you don't know. So the more you learn, the more that you know you need to learn. One of the things that changed my life was being able to find my mentor in my early 20s. Someone who took me under his wings and guiding me and taught me how life actually works. So after you graduate, one of the biggest piece of advice and tips I could give you is to work with, work for, become an apprentice of, learn from someone that you admire and respect because that few years, if you pay attention and you observe, will set the foundation for many years to come. Now, I found that person and my mentor changed my life. Another thing that may be stopping you, that maybe you're confused with what exactly is your path. It is okay. You are young. You don't have to figure this all out by the time you graduate. What I would recommend if you don't know exactly what you want, figure out what you don't want. Figure out what are some of the subjects that, you know what, that's not my thing. I don't want to get into that. I have no interest in that. That would help you to narrow down exactly what career path that you should choose. So what you want to do is to try a bunch of different things. Try a bunch of different industries. Work for different companies. Work with different people. Then very quickly you'll find out, hey, you know what, I kind of have more interest in these types of things or in this industry, then when you find that industry, when you find that career path, what I would recommend is you go deep. You master that thing. You pick that one thing and you say, I'm going to be world-class at this thing. I'm going to be outstanding with this thing. Not average, not good, fuck good. Outstanding with this thing. You could do that, you will have a very, very successful life. Doesn't matter what kind of career that you choose. Simple advice, they work. They worked for me, they worked for the students that I teach. So don't get overwhelmed. 
I know it could be a little bit scary. After college, what you should do? Fail forward, fail fast, pick an industry, go deep, master, and you'll do just fine.